Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and we are back in my bathroom and you guys might have seen my skincare routine a few weeks ago. Well today it is the turn of my everyday makeup routine. Following on from my skincare routine, uh, I would have done all the moisturising and serum etc etc and I'm just going to start off with a fresh face. So first things first, not really a fan of foundation, I actually love tinted moisturiser and the one I'm using at the moment is this one by NARS, it is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser, it's got SPF 30 in it so that's really helpful and I'm just going to apply this because it's a tinted moisturiser and not a foundation, I'm going to apply this with my fingers and then apply to my face in a similar way to how you would apply your moisturizer. And I'm gonna, oops, oh crumbs. And I'm gonna take it just slightly down my neck as well, under the eye area, on my forehead. And it just is really, really lightweight. That's why I don't really like foundations. I feel like they suffocate my skin. And it's also got this slightly illuminating factor to it as well. So this is like one of the things which contributes to my glowy face. So that's that one. Job done. And I'm now going to move on to under eyes and concealer. Right, so for the under eyes, I was a massive fan of the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Club. But I actually ran out of that. And you guys might have seen on one of my vlogs recently that I met up with the PR from NARS and they actually gave me loads of products to try. And she said to me, you need to try this, which is the NARS, what's it called? Radiant Creamy Concealer and she said it will blow your mind and it has so it has a nifty spongy applicator which means you don't have to go in there with your fingers and I just brush this underneath my eye and spread it down towards my cheeks. I'm just going to rub this in with my fingers. Yes there we go right so under eyes done. Now for the blemishes I find that my skin tone changes quite a lot. Obviously through summer I'm a little bit more tanned and I just end up with so many different concealers in different colours. And I've actually got this product which is by Zoeva and it is a concealer spectrum which is basically a concealer palette and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to start off with this one and just see how I get on. And I'm just using What's this? This is also a Zoeva brush and this is actually the Lux Smoky Shader brush which is an eyeshadow brush but I just use it for concealer. So I've got a couple of small blemishes on my head, on my head, <laughs> on my forehead. I've got one random one on my cheek and then one near my nose so I'm going to start with that and I'm basically just dabbing the product on to sort of cover the spot and I'll blend it. Thank you Bella and I'll blend it in a moment. I've got another one on my cheek, that's annoying. I had a couple of spots on my chin a couple of weeks ago and they left scars, which is really irritating. Okay, so I've literally just put on a tiny bit of concealer and then I'm gonna use my finger just to kind of blend it a little bit more. I know it might seem a bit pointless using the brush to apply it and then my finger to blend it, but that's just what I do. Now I'm going to go in with the slightly darker shade. I'm literally going to put the tiniest amount on here. Go over. Because my skin does still have a slight tan. I'm not too fussed about spots, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not... I very rarely get them. I'm quite lucky with my skin. Now, I have really big pores on my nose. So these little bits around my nostrils I tend to blend a little bit of whatever's left on the, the brush, basically. Okay, good. Concealer done. Now I'm going to use some powder, also by NARS. I'm obviously loving their products. And I'm just going to use that to go over the areas which I've concealed using this big brush, which is also by Zoeva, and it's the 101 Lux Face Definer. And I'm just going to dab that in there to get a bit of the product on the brush and then just go over the areas that I have used the concealer. Could probably use a smaller brush for this but this is my method, call me crazy. And I'm just going to go under the eyes slightly and by pinching the brush it kind of forms like a little point. 
so it gets right in the eyes. And that's just to stop that concealer coming off, it's basically to almost lock it in. Okay, next up is bronzer. And I am using this one, which is Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. And I'm just gonna get a bit of that on my brush and I'm gonna go up the cheekbones, down the jawline, and then across, oops, across the top of my forehead. So I think some people call it the three. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but this is just what I do. Okay. Now, recently I have fallen in love with blush. So I have this one, which is so shoddy. It's by Tom Ford and it's just called Cheap Colour. And this is number one Love Lust. And when we went to New York at New Year, I dropped this on the floor in our hotel bathroom and it just shattered everywhere. I literally was scrambling on the floor trying to pick it up. But look, look what it did. <sighs> Grim. Because it's so crumbled and crushed, I just dab my brush on the lid, which on the mirror bit, which tends to get enough product on there because this is quite pigmented. Shh. And I'm just sweeping it up my cheekbones, doing the fish face, so that I can get the right kind of areas to put it. And there we go, a little bit of blush. Now I'm gonna do a very, very, very slight contour with NARS Laguna. This is the new one in the new square packaging. And this one is the matte one. I think the other Laguna had um, like a slight shimmer to it. And then I'm using this brush, which is the Zoeva 112 Face Curve brush. It's probably not the best brush for contouring, but this is just what I use. I'm a bit lazy to go and buy a new brush. And I'm just gonna get a small amount of the product on. And I know some people do this the other way around. You do your contour before your blush, but I like to see where my blush falls. And then I like to apply a tiny, tiny bit of contour just to bring out my cheekbones. And I'm basically just going from sort of up here in my, towards my ear area to maybe just about halfway across my face into where if you suck your cheeks in, Oh, I'm full of spittle this morning. If you suck your cheeks in, it would go kind of to that area there. And I'm using the smallest amount of product because I don't like harsh contouring. I literally just like a tiny, tiny bit of shadow. Now I'm not gonna contour anywhere else. That's literally all that I do. And a few of you over on my Instagram stories were asking if I wear highlighter. I don't all the time. I'm gonna put it on today because, you know, we're making a video. And the one that I'm using at the moment is the Rodial Instaglam Compact Deluxe Illuminating Powder. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? And this is in shade one, which is Light Reflecting Definition Highlighter. And I'm just using this Real Techniques fan brush. Just getting a tiny, tiny amount. And I'm just gonna fan that from about here to up, almost to where my sort of eyebrow ends. I'm also gonna add a touch to my nose and teeny, teeny, tiny whatever's left on the brush to my cupid's bow. Cool, done, eyebrows. Right, so my eyebrows are slightly cheated because I actually have them tattooed on um, by Tracy Giles in Knightsbridge. So what I'm actually using is this product by Tom Ford, which I'm coming to the end of now, and it's the Fiber Brow Gel. And this stuff is great. It's got a teeny tiny little brush on the end. And basically this fiber gel sticks to any hairs that you might have up there in your brows. So I'm just gonna brush this bit here where I have the most eyebrow hair. I'm gonna brush that up. Because it's a gel, it's gonna help your eyebrows keep shape as well. Sorry guys, it looks like I'm applying loads. It's not, it's just that I've almost run out. In fact, I think I have run out. I'm literally scraping it off the edges. And then to these little tail bits is basically where I've got about three hairs. Um, and it looks like I've got more because of the tattoo, but I'm just gonna go down there anyway in the, help, in the hope that the brush will apply some product to those three lonely hairs. Okay, right. 
on to second to last step because sometimes I wear lipstick. So I'm going to curl my lashes using these rather dirty uh, Tarte eyelash curlers. So I'm just going to pop this on here, clamp, hold for like two seconds and let go. And then I'm going to apply my mascara which is this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout <coughs> Mascara. And it's in number one, black. I don't know what's happening down there, someone's having an argument. And I'm just going to start applying this to my lashes. Is there a technique to apply mascara? I don't know. I just stick it on. I do occasionally do this though. I don't actually know if that even works. And I only apply my mascara to my top lashes. I don't apply it to my bottom lashes. I love this mascara. It's my fave. Jet, jet black. And it's got like a little bit on the end which allows you to get into the nooks and crannies. That's my mascara face. <laughs> mm. And then I always have to hand up here on my beauty station some beauty q-tips because guaranteed without fail I will always get mascara up here. So I'm just going to get a bit of micellar water, tiny 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 bit take off that bit that I just fudged up. God, you wouldn't even want to see me attempt a winged eyeliner. Yeah, perfect. Right. Now I have been having a little bit of a lipstick phase recently and the one that I'm tending to go for on a daily basis is this one. It's the Clinique uh, and Jonathan Alder collaboration. So it's got a very jazzy little uh, what is that called? A pot holder? Whatever. And I'm not precious. I don't put lip liner on unless I'm wearing red lipstick. I'm just gonna dab like this. I don't know why, but I dab my lipstick on. I don't know if that's a, an actual thing. I'm sure makeup artists across the globe are watching this going, what is she doing? I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just doing what I do. There you have it. Everyday makeup, glowy skin, haven't made too much of an effort, nothing dramatic, just fresh, a little bit of colour, a little bit of colour on the cheeks. Done.